since all of y'all loved my first one, which I mean like all of y'all, which I mean like more than I've ever had in certain videos like ever. So thank you so much for watching my silly uh, casting video. But silliness aside, this is serious. We are casting the best video game adaptation TV Netflix Netflix special in history. So here's the cast from part one. I do have one amendment to it, and it has to do with Mabel and Sable, the Abel sisters. Okay, Label's fine. She can stay where she is. Nobody had an issue with her. Mabel and Sable, I did make a mistake. I am sorry, loyal viewers. I did miscalculate the ages of Mabel and Sable. Now, I still hold that Mimi and, Al and, and Allison can stay as their role and still play them. But if for age's sake, you might want to flip them. I count those two actresses, those wonderful actresses, in those two roles interchangeable. I will leave it up to them. The ball is in their court now. Miss Bree and Miss Kennedy, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Okay, let's get some easy ones out of the way. How did they phrase it? Then they said, give us some money <laughs> as a gift. He's got his backpack in the camera, and he's got it round so you can see me, and then he said, now these uh, bongs, they're not just for tobacco use only, are they? And I said, no. He said, they're for pot. Why not? Two words. I am retired. Dad, why do you get so mad when Grandma Gloria and Grandpa Al come over to visit? Do you hate them? Oh, cool. Old spaghetti. I'm gonna go heat this up. Okay, got a polarizing one. Celeste, cool character, really like her. Nice, sweet, down-to-earth personality, Stephanie Beatrice. Now, a bunch of people reared back and said, Rosa Diaz, and I said, no, 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 not Rosa Diaz. Stephanie Beatrice, because those two actresses, those two people, those characters... <laughs> Stephanie Beatrice is so drastically different than Rosa. She is bubbly. She is funny. Well, Rosa is very funny, too. Uh, she is excitable, which more mass matches Celeste's personality, giving Stephanie Beatrice another chance to show her wonderful personality. And that just that did it for it you. It did it for me. And then the other one was when... I don't know if you watch it. Do you watch it? Yeah. <laughs> you know, you would actually be surprised. And we got two very tough ones. I initially had these cast. I had almost all of these characters cast when I made my first video, but I trimmed it down to what I considered was the best. And I'm kind of glad I did because we have CJ and Flick, two very important and pivotal characters in Animal Crossing New Horizons. When Sony Pictures The Shallows, Blake Lively is stranded on a rock fighting a big ass shark. So we're gonna be stranded in a raft with no food, no water, and no crew, which means we're gonna be stuck alone with each other. Touching all that stuff about family and dad and time. I'm an insurance investigator now. I thought you were in Alaska. Oh, yeah, I was after Rosa and I broke up, but then I accidentally killed a protected buffalo. Self-defense. Where does Aquafina live? You know, nowhere and everywhere. You guys are beautiful. Hark! Triton! Hark! Hello! Bid our father, the Sea King, rise from the depths full, foul in his fury! So those are the characters I have. Again, I have some more. What I would like to do is probably in the third video round out some of the characters that do appear in the games, but then, then look at some of the classic characters, look at some of the popular characters and go, who who out of here would fit if they we started bringing back some old classic characters? Because New, New Horizons made a lot of cuts. They, 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 they trimmed the fat on Animal Crossing in a very surprising way. But that doesn't mean we have to, and that means that these characters can show up in fun little cameos just like they did in BoJack Horseman and Tuca and Birdie. I don't know why I specifically mentioned those two shows, but those two shows did the same thing. This could be a lot. Now I'm picturing it. 
Animal Crossing, the Netflix special, could be like a family-friendly BoJack Horseman. It's perfect.